that's what I that's what I like about Boron. Out of all the players in his skill gap, he's probably the one that grinds the most at ignition, which I really appreciate. But now we're gonna have to see this how this ditto goes down. And uh, I'd love to say that this is like the uh, melee for Ryan's of uh, Fox Ditto's on FD, Diddy Ditto's on FD. Yeah. But the thing is, there is items. There's bananas coming into play right now. Yeah, ex exactly. It's going to be uh, a variation. And funnily enough, JJ Rock has just this past week discovered some brand new Diddy tech that involves like uh, <laughs> Diddy's barrels and a banana. Yeah, where he actually like crashed the barrels into the banana. It, it, that was like a kind of like a lag list type of thing. Yeah. You can check it out on his YouTube page, but uh, maybe we'll see that come into play in his Diddy Ditto because now there's going to be two bananas where either person can exchange control of it. Yeah, see, here's the thing where it's going to get hard because anytime that you play the Ditto with JJ, it's rough because he's such a specialist with the Diddy that it's just kind of hard to kind of outplay him at points. Yeah, we actually I, just saw him at Showdown Battle Royale 2 take the three overs in Noto. Exactly. I think that's his first very very first win on Zenodo. Yeah. So he plays the matchup quite a bit actually. And not only that, he's also very adept at using not only his banana but the opponent's banana, because JJ's a veteran from Brawl. He played Diddy in Brawl. So all that kind of instinct kind of carries over from this game into this. Is that who has gonna take there. it? Yeah. Just applying all this damage and pressure, and the thing about Diddy Kong with the lead, man, once he gets these grabs going, man, you're in a, like a Diddy Vortex, where every time you get grabbed, you're like taking 30%. Yeah, that Vortex is really hard to get out of. Oh, oh no! He hit him with the buy. <laughs> Dang, JJ not holding back anything, just going straight for the dunk. That was huge. Uh, see, that, that's the thing with Moron, like, he, he's, his Diddy's up there and he's proven that he can kind of hang, but it's just all a matter of him trying to find, like, that X factor that just to kind of pull, like, pull matches out of the fire, basically, and to kind of avoid situations like that. Yeah, JJ getting that down, up down air to close that game. He was saying, like, you may got top three last week, but I wasn't here last week. Now he's showing him. I'm showing up right here with Pink Diddy Kong. All right, nice jab pressure there. Kind of forced JJ into a full hop. Trying to get his grab combo started, but JJ's just doing a good job of kind of forcing. Oh, 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 there you monkey go. Monkey see, monkey do. There yeah. you go. Talk to him, moron. Oh, man. There we go. All right. What I, <laughs> whatever you can do, I can do just as good. Yeah, I mean, we got those uh, UR instant uploads. But <laughs> we got four out of the instant download right there. Yeah. Although, you gotta be careful because JJ can do the exact same thing right back to him. <laughs> that was literally the reverse of the last game. All right. Oh, let's see this punish Ooh. right here. Yep, that's gonna be forward smash. Wow. The great equalizer right there, zero to zero. We got a one stock game with a one minute off the clock. Yeah, it's, it hasn't even been a minute and already so much has happened in this game too. All right, nice. Trying to just throw out some buttons, trying to catch JJ in something. I like that Boron is at least just throwing out down to by the ledge, just keeping it out as an option because even though it might not be doing anything and it might not two frame, it's still something that the other opponent has to deal with when they're on ledge. It's something that they have to be cognizant about because if they're not, as soon as they try to get up, they'll get hit by something. Nice use of the banana there. I'm liking what Boron is doing on the center stage whenever he gets stage control. Yeah, these players are going blow for blow right now, percent for percent. Yeah, this is uh, turning into a slobber knocker really quick. It's just kind of ex exchanging blows back and forth, exchanging bananas back and forth. Yeah, when you talk about the deal, it's like it's dead on and even matchup for the same reason. They both have the same benefits. Boron's starting to read JJ just a little bit, but JJ's starting to mix it up. I'm trying for the angel drop right there, not going to get it. No. Oh, no way. He's got oh, just it. barely got the down smash, but JJ got his jump back, and he's going to be able to make it back safely. Yeah, we able to monkey flip back on stage, applying the pressure here and there. Ooh, this is getting really close to down tilt up smash percent for both characters. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure that the next one who gets a down tilt is going to get it. Oh, and there and it is. There yep. it is. Yep. So, Boron taking JJ to the edge on game two. Couldn't quite force the game three, but like I said, you know, He's one of those. He's one of those players that's just on the come up, and that on. I kind of showed a little bit too. Like I, I like that Boron got, like that first game, Boron was a little shaky and just kind of let JJ walk over him in a couple of spots. But as soon as that game started, you just see the confidence kind of like just turn on.